hello guys this is dabson ishmael so in this video we are going to take a look at how to make this particular page responsive but before then since we all know that layout grid has some kind of fluid property it will try to resize objects to the um, size of the device we are using let's take a look at this in a responsive mode and see how that is going to be so i'm going to go to developer um, options and then responsive design now you see this at 320 pixels and it doesn't really look the best let's take a look at 480 also this is, this space is too wide let's go ahead and 2768 and we can actually go about doing a couple of things to this to make it actually look good so let's take a look at how to go about that so i'll first start by creating my breakpoint so i'll come to my breakpoint manager i'll create for 320 pixels i'll create for 480 pixels i'll go ahead to create for 768 and then finally i'm going to create for that is 960 pixels so i'll go ahead and then hit an ok and hit an ok now i'm going to switch to the 960 pixels breakpoint over here 960 is just like still being on the desktop device so i wouldn't change anything here i'll continue to the 768 and what i want to do here is to decrease the height of this a bit before i continue that i'm even supposed to decrease the size of my text in here so i'll double click on this text come to style and then i'm going to change the size of this to 28 so this is going to be 28 and then let me just right click on this text and make sure it is responsive so i'll go to object properties and as i have checked here that is enable responsive font to be able to reduce the size and different breakpoints so i think i like the size of this this is 20 this is fine here now i'm going to double click on the layout grid i have in here and then i'm going to decrease the size of this to to about 212 let me just click on ok and see what that gives me so i think this is a bit okay let me decrease the bottom a bit to let's just make this 50 i'll go ahead and I hit an okay and i think this is much better let me just go ahead and then double click on this and decrease the size of my gutter to about let's say six to create let's say room for our objects that's a test we have in here let me double click on this layout grid decrease the gutter to about five i'll do same for this one also so i'm going to decrease this to also about five and then i'll go ahead and I hit an okay so this looks a little bit okay than it used to look before and then i'm going to continue to my next breakpoint which is the 480 pixels i'll start by double clicking on this text to change the size of it to let's make this 24 i'll go ahead and I hit an okay and then i'm going to double click on my entire layout grid here so let me double click on this now the height is going to be about 200 let me see how that is going to be I think it's still huge let me decrease this to about let's say 150 and then go ahead and hit an ok i think this is okay and then i'm going to decrease the bottom to about 50. i'm going to continue to decrease my gutter here so this is going to be five and then i'm going to do same for this one which is also going to be five and then let me double click on the entire layout grid and then decrease the gutter to about let's say 20. I think this is okay and then let me just double click on this come to the style and then change the background that is the size to make a cover so that i can actually still see my image in here so this is going to be center this is going to be do not repeat so let me just go ahead and hit on okay so as you can see the image stays visible here let me come to this big point and then do same here so this is going to be cover this is going to be center and then do not repeat to have my image showing exactly in the middle of my layout grid now back to 480 pixels what i want to do is i actually don't necessarily want to have this showing because when you take a look at the original or the final project from the original one i created let me just preview that so i have a look at it so this is it when you take a look at this you realize there is a section here now if we are going to have this visible it means we should also have this visible and that isn't really going to help us or work well for us in our project so what i'm going to do is i'm going to disable this and this and my project so what i'm going to do here is i'll double click on my layout grid let me just double click on my entire layout grid and then i'm going to hide the first column so i'm going to hide this and i only have for the second column that's the second column showing so let me preview this again in my browser and see how that is going to be so i'll come to my web developer and then go to responsive design mode let me switch to 480 pixels breakpoint hit on enter 
and as you can see this is actually taking you know shape in its rightful way actually the way i want it to be so this is a menu which is going to lead to different sections we haven't actually created those sections we have, we've only created for the gallery so when we select and then click on gallery it's supposed to take us to the gallery section now let's continue to the with the 480 pixels breakpoint let me just minimize this come to my that's 320 pixels instead and then i'm going to double click on my text i have in here i'll come to style i'm going to change the size of this to 22 i'll go ahead and I hit an ok i'll now double click on my layout grid here i'm going to change the gutter to five and then let me just go ahead and then change um, the breakpoint because i don't need this to give me any different column so let me just make this zero i'll go ahead and hit an ok i'm going to change this also to five and then i'm going to make this zero this is actually not changing anything but i'd like to set it this way the reason is because if i was to have about two columns i would have had all my two columns showing in here that is if i change this to zero so let me just go ahead and then do that and then double click on the entire that's the bigger or the master layout grid and then i'm going to change my gutter to about let's say 15 and then the pattern to the top is going to be about 100 and then to the bottom let me just go this to the bottom is going to be about let's say 40 let me come to the style section and then correct my image so this is going to be cover this is going to be center and then this is going to be do not repeat i'll go ahead and I hit an ok and then as you can see i have everything showing here in the right way before because i actually um got my 480 pixels that's the section here one of the columns heading it's actually affected my 320 pixels if i don't want that i can just double click on my entire layout grid and then enable that but as you can see this wasn't really any difficult process going about let's preview this again in our browser and see how that looks like so I come to my web developer and then responsive design mode and then as you can see we have our 320 pixels um, breakpoint we have our object showing it here now there is a bit challenge the challenge okay I think it's corrected now so this was actually looking looking uh, bigger than it should look but it actually um, I think it wasn't downloading that was why we had it that way now we, I think we have some the space we have here is a bit bigger let's go ahead and then just decrease that and then after that we are good to go so let me decrease this to about two and then this is also going to be two click on ok now let me preview it again in my browser go to the design and um, responsive design mode and then make sure it is done so yes this has been reduced a bit we can actually go ahead and increase the one here to the top to give us equal space and if we are not okay with this one so as you can see this is how to go about creating a different layout with layout grid in a very simple way so a mistake i made that you shouldn't make in your project has to do with with the layout grid the overflow section so with my tutorial i forgot to check the that is change the overflow from none to hidden so after doing everything i realized on my desktop i actually had my mobile um, view showing on my desktop so this is very important you shouldn't forget to check um, that is change your overflow to hidden or any of the properties in here apart from none that is if you are working on um, the responsive aspect of your project to using layout grid